The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, we're up close and personal with the train TEM3. We are in a climate controlled storage facility, as you can see. There's some trunk duck, more trunk duck this way. We have no blower. They called yesterday, late afternoon, said it was freezing up. So uh, the office told me to come today because since it was frozen, we couldn't work on it. I have the fan calling for fan. I have the thermostat calling for fan, excuse me. We have an X13 blower motor, so we're gonna check, see if we got line voltage, make sure we got 24. More than likely we got us a bad X13 motor. All right guys, that's the best camera angle I can get for y'all. Diagnosing an X13 fan motor is not hard. You, there's motor testers out there that you can use and they're great, I have them, but it's very simple. The camera angle, y'all can't really see. There we go. You have line, neutral, ground, and common. We should have 240 volts, because this is a 208 to 30 volt unit, between line, and neutral. And as you can, well, hold on guys, one of my leads fell off, I'm trying to get y'all a shot. We have it. Okay, so now, try to prop the, prop the camera back up for y'all. Okay, now what we wanna do is check to make sure we have 24 volts. Now I have, you have three, you see you have three wires down, down here at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Those are your speed taps. This green is for fan only. I think the red is for heat and this brown one's for cooling. I could have those mixed up, but I do know that the green is for fan only. So you're going to use your common up here at the top and then you're going to go across to the green. We should have 24 volts right there to start the motor. That 240 we just saw is always present. But in order for the motor to start, we should have 24 volts between common and between fan only. And if you look here, we have it. So that means we have a bad fan motor. Now here's the thermostat right here behind me. I'm gonna kill the fan call, and you'll see we will lose our 24 volts once I kill the call for fan. So I'm gonna kill auto. We've lost our call for fan. Now let's just, for video purposes, let's go to cooling. Okay. Stat says cooling, fans, fan should be turning. I don't know if y'all can hear the refrigerant flowing. We still have it between G and common, and we should have it on this brown and common if I'm right about the colors. Nope, maybe it's the red. No? Okay, it's, it's, I guess it's always the green one on train. But if you look right there, we have 26 volts and I'm hope, I mean, I can hear the refrigerant flowing. We have a bad fan motor. Go to off, off, thermostat clicks off, condenser will shut down. That's why it froze up yesterday. You can still see the condensation under here from where it froze. So that's where I got confused on the condenser motor. See, that's how you diagnose an X13 blower motor, but with the train, 
condensers, the ECMs are DC volts. So pretty simple stuff right there. All right, we'll make a call to the train supplier and see if they got one in stock. All right, guys, you can see the unit is suspended. Here's my ladder. We got approval to change the motor. It's in stock. So I'm gonna take this one out, put a new one in, slide the assembly back in and we should be good. All right, just a quick update. Now that I rubbed the dust off of these low voltage wires down here, this is pink, this is white. Those are for heat. I remember that train uses a white and a pink for heat. So the green is what operates the cooling mode and fan only. And we have no heat kit in here. This is cooling only. Uh, they're heat pumps with with no uh, with no strip heat. So uh, I just thought I'd clarify that. All right, guys, I'm gonna rip this thing out. All right, guys, we have our new X13 motor installed. You can see it's made a little different. This one's made by uh, Gentech. I don't think the other one was. But anyway, we're gonna flip our switch up there. It's a double pole or a single pole double throw switch. Let me hit it. Okay, power's on. Thermostat is set to fan auto. Let's put it on on. Ta-da! to auto she ramps down that'll do it all right i'm gonna throw the panel back on and put it on cool all right guys it's all buttoned back up it's done thermostat's on it's cooling and the fan is running guys i appreciate the support here on the israel hvac channel i thank y'all so much for watching my videos we're almost at 13,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. And it's all because of y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And we'll see y'all on the next one.